Okay, so moving to radiation therapy. Um, radiation therapy technique is individualized and depends on many geoma size, proximity to critical structures and any prior radiation to the same site. And we also have to mention that radiotherapy, radiotherapeutic options for many geoma are diverse and there are no randomized trials comparing different radiotherapy modalities. So excellent control has been observed following various forms of radiotherapy for meningioma, which include fractionated external beam radiation therapy, stereotactic radiosurgery, and finally, brachytherapy. So we're gonna talk about some of the radiotherapy outcomes. The first one is radiation therapy following subtotal resection. So it has been seen that the rate of meningioma recurrence following uh, subtotal resection is higher than with a gross total resection. So several retrospective studies have found high rates of local control in patients treated with EBRT following subtotal resection. And in primary external beam radiation therapy, this one is useful for certain tumor locations with, where gross total resection is not possible without causing significant morbidity to the patient, which I think is very important. Um, talking about stereotactic radiosurgery and fractionated stereotactic radiosurgery outcomes, we have seen that single fraction stereotactic radiosurgery is generally considered feasible for tumors less than three or four centimeters in diameter with at least two millimeters of separation from critical normal structures. And even though most meningiomas do not shrink significantly after treatment, symptomatic improvement can occur. Then talking about brachytherapy, there are limited options for patients with recurrent atypical or anaplastic meningiomas after prior radiation therapy to the same site. So resection followed by permanent feed low dose rate brachytherapy is a viable salvage treatment option in this patient population, but related, relatively high complications rate have been observed. And finally, to talk about radionuclide therapy, it has been seen that peptide receptor radionuclide therapy may be beneficial for pre-treated progressive meningiomas. And more specifically, somatostatin receptor type 2A is a highly specific marker for meningioma cells that is not otherwise expressed in the central nervous system with the exception of the pituitary gland. So meningiomas with higher, with higher um, somatostatin receptor type 2A expression are associated with trace uptake and clinical response. Um, so I don't know if you, Dr. McGill, want to say something about radiotherapy outcomes before we pass to systemic therapy. Um, I, I think radiation is very effective. Classic location where you would do primary radiation is a cavernous sinus meningioma. Uh, morbidity of that operation is really high, um, but it's still... Uh, I would say in the optimal treatment, surgery, then radiation, and then other things. Brachytherapy is rarely used, but when you there are times, you know, when you've got these multiply recurrent ones. But in general, thinking about meningioma, it's not like the first thing that comes to your mind. And same with like the lutetide. It's this is lutetide, lutreotide, or whatever you say, lutetide um, one seventy seven radio tracer. You can they go with the somatostatin receptor analog, same as like dotatate concept. It goes there. Dotatate just shows you where it is. Lou, Lou brings radiation there. Um, so, um, no, I think, I think that's good. We should carry on because of the time and then um, we can talk some more at the end. Yeah, sure. Okay, now we're gonna talk about systemic therapy. Systemic therapy is very extensive. So I'm trying just to um, talk about the important points. So what we know is that to date, the efficacy of systemic agents has been disappointing. And patients with meningiomas in surgically challenging areas, such as the skull base, or patients with progressive or recurrent meningiomas after having undergone all potential surgical and radiotherapeutic treatment options, may benefit from systemic treatment options. However, as I already said, uh, the efficacy of systemic agents has been disappointing. And what has been made are advances in chemotherapy, molecular therapy, and immunotherapy. So for chemotherapy, um, we know uh, some things about trabectidine, trabectidine, and trabectidine is a chemotherapeutic agent which is routinely used for advanced sarcoma and ovarian cancer. 
And this has shown activity in, vit in vitro studies of meningioma, yet its action mechanism is not completely understood. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you liked that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.